Hello everybody, RC here. Welcome back, a new Let's Play. We're going to play some Subnautica, and this is the original Subnautica. And um, so, real quick backstory, if you don't want to hear the backstory, fast forward. Um, so I just bought this game uh, over the weekend. I'm recording this on Wednesday. I've got about five, five or six hours played. Um, I had played it a while, about a year ago when uh, it was out for a, like a free weekend or something, and I hated it. Hated it. Uh, could not figure out the game, didn't know what I was supposed to do. Um, time has passed. I was watching somebody playing the new... Uh, oh, there's... The thing is missing right here. Uh, the new game, uh, Deep Sub-Zero or whatever it's called. Um... So I was watching somebody play that the other day, one of the guys that I subscribe to. And I said, well, you know, it does look cool. And my son uh, raves about this game all the time. He plays it a lot. And uh, so he said, well, you ought to give it another, because he saw me watching the video and he says, you ought to give that game another try. So I went ahead and bought it. And uh, I died like three times in, in five hours, uh, drowned all three times. So... <laughs> anyway, I'm still kind of a noob at this, uh, but on my son's suggestion, I bought the game. Uh, as always for my channel, if I am playing a game, I'm going to record it and share the experience with you guys, because that's what I do. Um, just know that I'm not very good, and also on my son's recommendation, I have not really looked up anything at all about the game. Uh, he's given me a couple of little pointers, and I've had to look up a couple of things like where to find silver. I mean, holy crap. Uh, and that's what I died all three times. I was deep diving looking for silver. So there you go. But anyway, let me know if the music's not loud enough. I had actually started to record the, episode, uh, the first two episodes, went back and was listening to it, and the music was just overpowering. So I deleted it, I'm restarting. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Keep in mind, I am a complete noob, and that's the save that I was working on, so we are just going to delete that, and we're going to start a new game. We'll play on survival, and we'll be back when this is loaded, because I know it takes a minute. Attention. All right. not doing it anywhere near the amount of cursing I would be doing. Like, holy shit, get the F out of here. Run, run, run. Get the hell out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> Kaboom. I do remember uh, playing during the, the free weekend about a year or so ago. I went, this can't be good. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's pretty much exactly what I said when I first played it, and it looks like it would hurt. All right, so we've got a fire. That can't be good. Thanks for the tutorial to start and figure out what to do. But we are gonna pick that up. And we will goose that. Alright, so we've got our PDA up. We put the fire out. I did not get burned. Minor That's a bonus. Head trauma. This is considered a minor head trauma. Outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. All right, so you know the way I play things. I kind of walk you through it. I do a tutorial style playthrough just because that's how I play. Um, and I figure it's good to help other people like me that don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, so first off, uh, you have the blue circles at the bottom. Those are hot keyed one through five. If you press it, it activates it. Press it again, it deactivates it. This is a medical kit fabricator. If I open it and take the med kit, it will close and you will see it will start reloading. When it gets to 100%, it generates another med kit for free. You don't have to do anything, but I have that 
in my inventory right there. All right, so let's put uh, let's put that in there, and let's go ahead and head out. I'm just gonna left click. And we're gonna splash down. All right, I want four of those thingamajiggers. And I want to head that away. All right, break some limestone. So limestone has copper. Oh, yes, thank you. See these fish? These are bladder fish. Pick those up if you see them. Those are swimming part monsters. Seriously. And if you just hit the, uh, the space bar, you'll swim up to the surface. Anyway, uh, copper and titanium come from the sandstone here. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. We're going to grab the peeper. We're going to grab some scrap metal. And there may be parts where I'm not doing a lot of talking. It's not that I don't want to talk to you guys. It's just I get kind of flustered. Oxygen. At points of this, stay on top of your oxygen. You don't want to die. All right, we're going to swim down and grab. We're going to grab that. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse. Oh, these are awesome. Biomes. All right, this is called a brain coral. We're going to park right above it. And watch my oxygen. I'm at 18. All right. And it br it blows out oxygen, so you can actually park your butt over one of those. And uh, they will recharge your, your breathing. And that's a good thing. All right. I'm looking for more of these. There's some copper. We can get titanium. Uh, yes, I want you. Thank you. I want you. Thank you. Discovered. All right, let's go in here. We're gonna grab oh, some quartz. Oh no, I don't want to go out. All right, we're gonna die. I'm gonna die. All right, here's the thing: when you're swimming to the surface, even when the screen starts going black. Keep going because you have a couple of seconds to to get to get there and save yourself. All right, nothing in here. I'm looking for more. How are we doing on space? Kind of running out, but I want to. Well. Don't pick up too much salvage because you get, uh, you can see how much space they each take. They take four, but you do get four titanium uh, ore out of each one. So, you know, figure out how many you need and it'll all be good. All right, here we go. I do want a couple of quartz. Copper and the inventory is full. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get through here up to the top. Oxygen. All right, so there's the Aurora, the ship we came in on. All right, let's get inside. All right, so if you take a look at the left, we have the red heart, the yellow apple, and the uh, blue water drop. That's your health, hunger, and thirst. So let's go ahead and make some water. That takes a bladder fish. So you can cook bladder fish. Um, we did get a few, so you know what? Let's, let's cook one bladder fish, because I've never eaten one. And then the other ones we're going to turn into just plain water. And then I'll show you guys what the difference is. 
And they say that most of the fun in this game is to just kind of experience everything. All right, now I have a boomerang and I have a peeper. Uh, is the peeper cooked already? How did the peeper get cooked? I don't recall that. I have no recollection of this. All right, so we have 30, one tip. Don't overeat or over drink. You can get sick evidently. I do not know that for a fact. All right, there's our bladder fish. So a cooked bladder fish gives us 15 food and three water. The reason that's not great is because the cooked peeper, well, I don't have a, if you turn it into water, it gives you 20, all right? So let's come back over here and we're gonna cook a, oh, let's cook the peeper. All right, and we will look at the peeper. The peeper gives us 32 food and five water, so more than double, right? But we're going to eat both of those. All right, and let's go ahead and drink a water. And we're still hungry, but we're going to wait. Now, one of the things is don't cook all your food at one time because the fish start to spoil once you cook it. If you don't cook it, uh, they stay good. All right, let's go in and uh, do some of our resources. Well, I have some copper, and I want to make a battery. I know I want to make a battery, and I want to make a copper wire. Again, I know this only because I've played a little bit. All right, we're going to scrap uh, all of our scrap metal into titanium. So we'll do all of those. I think I picked up four, so we'll have 16 titanium. Oh, we picked up three. Don't make the ingots. Uh, I did hear that those come into play later in the game. Save the titanium. You'll need those more. All right, let's go ahead and make our glass. It takes two of the uh, quartz to make one glass. So we'll make two glass. And I want a lubricant. Is essential in construction of vehicles and, and let's make dogs. two silicone rubbers. Actually, let's go ahead and make three. All right, then we'll come out to here and I'm going to make a waterproof locker. Do I have room for that first? Yes, I do. All right, just because I know I'm going to eh, let's make it last. Let's make it last. All right. We want to make tools. Well, I want, a, I want a scanner. That's what the battery was for. So the battery and one piece of titanium. We'll make the scanner, the silicon rubber we just made, and titanium will make a knife. So that's good. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. What the hell? Is it nighttime? Let's check. There's the aurora. You can barely see it. All right, so it is nighttime. So this this life pod has solar energy. Uh, unfortunately, you can see our solar powers uh, are online, but they can't generate. And this thing takes power to run. And you can see I've only got seven power. Um, hmm. Equipment. Well, I want to make my tank. It regenerates very slowly. I want my fins. And now our power is completely wiped out. Alright, so while it recharges a little bit, we'll take a quick look. There's my O2 tank. So now instead of having like 15, 12 to 15 seconds of oxygen, we have 30 seconds. And we have fins, which increases our swim speed by 15%. We also have our scanner and our knife that we made, and those are hot keyed, so I can pull out my scanner. There you go. Let's self-scan. All right, normal, and I can pull out my knife if I want to, and then put it up. All right, anything else that we can make? Uh, we've made that. So we can upgrade our regular tank to a high capacity tank. You have to take it off, put it back in your inventory. 
if you have it, if it's green, you have it. If it's red, you don't have it. Once we would take it off of our equipment and put it back into our inventory, that would show up. So I need one silver ore to make that. Uh, we have our fins already, and I don't really need anything else in there. What I would like to make next is my repair tool. So we need cave sulfur, and I would need, uh, I'd like another battery. So I need more copper ore, which I do not have, which is fine. We'll have to go dig some more. Um, oh, I do want to make that. We'll take four of our titanium. Okay, well, we'll make two of them because I'll get more titanium going out. All right, and we are going to jump down into the darkness. All right, and three, and we'll let it. We'll right click to let it go. We'll right click, let that go. All right. Um, I'm going to need those at some point, but not right now. And I'm going to keep all of my metals there. And I'll chunk that in there, plus a bottle of water and my first aid kit. Uh, let's see. I'm looking around. Oh, there's a bladder fish. the peeper oh I can actually oh I forgot I had my scanner here scan everything it does give you uh, it does give you the uh, ability to open new recipes right and right now we're really waiting until night time Let's uh, let's cook. Yeah, I've only got bladder fish right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and waste one on food. Don't like doing it, but if that's all I got, it's all I got, right? All right, we're gonna eat that, and we're gonna drink that. We're gonna drop a water in there, and it does tend to put everything together. Um, so let's see. So you can see the new things. They all have the little plus signs as you mouse over them, and then you can read what they do. And that's all good. You can, you can click on something, and you can see, you know, you can highlight it, mouse over it. It'll tell you what it takes. Uh, let's see. We've got all that. Indigenous nut life forms. Liner fish. All right. So everything's damaged. So while we're waiting, well, let's see. All right, it's almost daytime. So let's get back out to it. All right. Uh, I am going to need some of that. You right-click to attack. Come on. We're only going to take a couple of pieces here. Uh, let's do the mushrooms. We know you make batteries out of them, but still. Let's see, what does that do? Inedible but harmless. Gasopod. Approach with cautions. Acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed. Interesting. All right. All right, there's some more nodes. Uh, 
detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Run, 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 run! Alright, what was that? Well, if you've played the game, you know. These little red plants have those monsters in them. They'll swim towards you and blow up. Swim away from them, but go back to the plant and you can harvest the sulfur in them. And that is amazing. Alright, there we go. Do what? Okay. Alright, my son actually... Oh my god, run, 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 run. <laughs> Alright, I don't know... I don't know where he came from. Uh, so we'll have to find it. There it is, right here. I oh shit! Damn. Alright, let's get our knife here. Alright, he said if you kill them, if you kill them like that, they won't come back. Now, I may want some more sulfur. I'm not going to kill them all. But I think that's got me enough. Alright, let's see. Any more? How am I doing on... I've got two coppers, two titaniums. Let's go ahead and surface here. All right, there is our life pod. So a lot of the game seems to be just finding out where shit is. <laughs> and, and then what to do with it when you find it. Um, and so we'll just, you know, that's part of the fun, I guess. And so we'll go with that. Um, Ladder pitch go. There you are. Another one. Yep. And I do want. Let's grab some peepers for food. Come on. Grab the peeper. All right. I am just looking to see if there's any more. Oh, there's. Let's go ahead and scan the limestone. I know what it gives me, but we'll do it anyway. Give me some type of pain. Not sure what the hell that was. Alright. And it doesn't take a lot to fill you up because you think one of those peepers gives you. 32 food or something like that. All right, not sure where where he came from. No clue, honestly. Those things right there are vicious. They're more violent at night. I'm looking for... Oh, you know what? Let's head over to this brain coral. Remember I said we could get... Uh, room? So we'll just stand here for a minute and we'll recharge. While we scan it. It spits out like three oxygen bubbles at a time. All right, there we go. So now we can just kind of keep moseying along. All right. I would really like a flashlight. <laughs> Help me see in here, but oh, all right, well, I'm not going back in there now because I'm not doing well. 
All right, there is our life pod, and I do not have a. Oh, I'm gonna grab some more scrap here. Two pieces. I want to go use a health kit. <laughs> And there should be, oh damn, he's uh, he's up in shallow water there. Usually you don't see those guys unless they're in the kelp forest. Strange. All right, I think we got everything here. All right, let me get inside. Um, all right, I'm going to get a new med kit. And then we're going to apply that. Uh, okay. Could be better. All right. We're going to go ahead and make uh, the water with our bladder fish again. I like to keep four or five of those handy. Just, you know, that way you're not having to look every time you go out. It just seems smart to me. Could be stupid as hell as far as I know. But all right. So we'll drink that, warm water. We're pretty much tied back up. Let's go ahead and get rid of our metal salvage for some more titanium. Another glass. Then we can make, uh, well, let's see what we can make. All right, um, I'm gonna add the water in here. Let's head out here. Alright, I don't need that. And I do want that. Alright. So basically we now have all of our stuff. So what I want to look at making is our... Oh, there's our repair tool. That'll be important here. So that takes the cave sulfur that we just got titanium and silicone rubber again you get that from the uh, the yellow uh, pods uh, in the kelp forest and I also want to make a flashlight so I need a battery all right let's make that and our flashlight okay now, if you don't like the order, all you do is mouse over and hit, and then hit the hotkey you want. And that'll add it. So, let's go ahead and... Oop, yep, it works. Ouch, ouch. Alright. And you can see the power's dropping as we're using it. We'll have to recharge that, replace the battery at some point. Alright, so the main power is now online, not just solar power. So, we shouldn't have any more power issues. Uh, and then let's go ahead and repair the radio. Those are the two things we want to repair to advance the story. Just out of curiosity. So they won't come for 416 days. That's over a year, people. So basically we're on our own. All right. If that's flashing, uh, you have a new message. Sometimes you will get a uh, radio icon up in the upper right corner of your screen. All right. What else do I want to make in here? I don't really need the repair tool anymore, at least not right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put that to off. All right, what else do we want to make? Well, I don't have any silver yet, so I can't make that. I've already made all the tools here. An air bladder might be interesting. I think what that does is it's a life preserver, and like you can inflate it if you know in an emergency situation to get to the surface faster. Don't know if you really need that. And uh, we haven't learned those yet. And I don't want to waste the copper. I don't really like making anything until I know I need it. So, all right, let's head back out. And we're 
are going to drop all this stuff off. All right, you're done. And the brain coral will be handy later. All right, so silver is traditionally found over a hundred feet deep. That's so weird he is swimming around over there. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, there we go. All right, let's get out our scanner. That's a sea glide fragment. So we're halfway to being able to make our sea glide. And I want to look for wreckage. I don't need the scrap right now. That's more scrap, I believe. We'll scan it just so it'll tell us what it'll do, which we already know. Well, I don't really need to go in there. I'd like to figure out what these do. Probably didn't need to come up for air just yet, but you know, better safe than sorry. All right, I am looking for wreckage. Sometimes it's just easier to see stuff from up high. What is that? Metal salvage, metal salvage. That's metal salvage. Okay, they want us to cut this. All right. Again, you attack with... I don't know how much I need. Oh. 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and head up. And it is getting dark. We can pull out our flashlight. Again, it does use a battery, so don't don't overdo it. All right. Usually, I mean, I've I've started several times, right? Because I've died. So I know there's usually some wreckage pretty close to your starting point which is right over there. Hold on, my... What? Okay. Because there was some down... My son, sitting, my son, who's the one who told me to buy the game, is now sitting here narrating to me on how to play after telling me not to... <laughs> not to do anything. No, I don't want you to go on the wiki. Uh, all right. Oh wait, there's something there. Is this where we were just at? No. Oh, sea glide. Get it. Right. So let's go into our PDA here and data bank coral. You got to click on each one of these to get them to go away. So I apologize for that. Uh, let's see, writhing weed. Where's oh blueprint? There we go. All right, sea glide. It so we have the lubricant. I've got titanium. I can make copper wire, and I believe I can make a new battery. So let's grab two of those for the battery, and yes, let's head home after I after I grab some fish here for grubs. And you know what? I am going to need a little more titanium, so I'm going to pick that up. I already got the table full, right? Again. I'm going to have to drink some water, so let's grab a couple of bladder fish. There we are. All right, I don't think I need the uh, flashlight now. Even though it's dark and I'm scared. Oh, 
scanned those yet. And I have not scanned those yet. I'm sure I'll need them at some point. Alright. Let's head up inside. Alright, so we want to make the sea glide. So that is going to be a deployable. Alright, lubricant, copper wire. There's the lubricant, copper wire. I'm going to go ahead and get the brain coral because I think I'm going to need it for something. And let me get the silicone rubber just in case. I already have titanium. We'll get a little bit more copper and glass just in case. Alright. And you guys may be looking at this going, God, what a new. I told you. I am. I've got five hours of playing this, right? Alright, so we want to make a battery. Right there. Now I can make the sea glide. Yes. I feel like I've won the game now. <laughs> hey, turn the, the heater off. Man, I am sweating my butt off. Alright, um, right. so the sea glide takes up, what's that, six spaces. We're going to put that in slot five. And so what we, you know, we can actually pull that out if we want to. Alright, let's go ahead and knock out our water, do our cooking. Kill our bladder fish. I don't think the water ever goes bad, but the cooked fish does. So let's see, we have a Gary fish. We'll cook one of those. It is common for those to and a keeper. Food to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Uh, Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. All right, uh, let's see. So let's pop in here and I'm going to eat the Gary fish, eat the peeper. Oh, we're at 109. And then, uh, so I don't know what level you can go to before you might get sick. Don't have any clue. All right. Um, let's see now. Can I make any, oh, that creep vine that I chopped, you make fiber mesh out of that. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Even, even rotten it was able to be made. And I'm going to scrap our salvage. And I got, yes, guys, this will be a good spot to put a cut because I am a little over. I lost track of time. So uh, we've made our standard O2 tank, our fins, and our sea glide. So now with our sea glide, we'll be able to go deeper, faster, and we can go on the hunt for some silver. Oh, real quick. I tell you what, there's a radio signal. Let's leave that for next episode. They call that a cliffhanger in the business, just in case you didn't know. All right, guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Remember, hitting the like button is the only way you show me you like what I'm doing and supporting the channel. I don't have live streams for you to donate money. I don't do Patreon. I don't ask you guys for anything but hitting that like button so more people can see my stuff. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.